What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about Easter traditions in Norway. Since it's Easter time, I want to wish each and every one of you a very happy Easter today. And I'm very, very curious. What could the differences be between Easter in America versus Easter in Norway? I've learned a bit about other holidays in Norway before, like Christmas and Thanksgiving, and those were quite a bit different, to my surprise, uh, than how we celebrate holidays in America. So I expect today I'm going to learn about a few different traditions in Easter time in Norway. I can't imagine what they are. Maybe it has to do with food or how Easter is celebrated in America. It's a very specific way, very specific things that have to do with Easter and Easter bunnies and Easter baskets and Easter eggs and all that stuff. So I don't know. I feel like this is going to be very, very entertaining. So let's take a look. Almost one week until the Easter time in Norway. It's actually many people will start it already this weekend, but in reality, the Easter is next weekend on the 4th of April. Okay. So in Norway, it is a huge, huge um, deal. Oh. It was, could be, I could say it like that, but it could be um, one of the last possibilities for many people to go skiing. To <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? In Norway, uh, it, Easter is seen as one of the last times of the year you can go skiing? That is, I mean, Americans are not even thinking about snow or skiing around Easter. That's our, that is such a Norwegian thing. That is, that is such a Norwegian thing. Okay. To spend the time with the family. Of course, this year it's a bit strange here. Um, we have again uh, lockdown in Norway, so we again mm. have uh, a lot of regulations of what we can do and what we can, how many people can we meet at once. Okay, so this video was made two years ago while there was still a lot of lockdowns. Okay. And so on. But it's this video, it's not about that. This video, it is about how do we celebrate Easter in Norway, yeah. what I learned from my Norwegian friends. So I think it could be not a common to the whole Norway. If you are from other parts of Norway, please share in the comments your way of celebrating Easter in Norway. Is it different from the oh. one I'm telling you today? Oh, that's another thing about Norway is it seems like Norway can be very regional with different dialects and other things that make the different parts of Norway very unique. But when it comes to Easter, Americans basically all celebrate Easter exactly the same way. Uh, so that's interesting that she mentions that uh, different Norwegians in different parts of Norway might celebrate Easter a little differently. That's interesting. And some stuff that just gets me amazing, amazed by how you can celebrate Easter. And this yellow t-shirt, it is for a reason yellow today. And let's start. So celebration of Easter in Norway, to me, it reminds sometimes a bit Christmas time, because when you go to the stores, yeah. you can see many candies. Yes. And actually, marzipan and so on, many candies that Marzipan. Man, these are all... <laughs> I'm kind of entertained just looking at some of the candy, honestly. Yes, oh my gosh. In America, you can only imagine. Because Americans already are a little obsessed with candy. Easter candy is probably one of the biggest things around e Easter time in America. All the grocery stores are packed full of these chocolate Easter eggs, Easter bunnies, crosses, everything you can imagine <laughs> is in the grocery stores this time of year. Yes, and actually marzipan and so on, many candies that reminds you a lot about Christmas, but they ah. are packed differently. They are actually packed in the yellow packages and everywhere it's poske, 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 ferie. Poske? Poske? 
Is that what... Is that how you say Easter in Norwegian? Poske? I, that's, that's good for me to know, actually. So in Norway, the color yellow seems to represent Easter, whereas in America, we, I guess the color yellow does, is an Easter color in America as well, but so is blue. Blue and red and yellow are all Easter colors, so yellow seems to be a bit more important with Easter time in Norway too. Um, this is what amazed me. So this week we finally got a huge amount of the grill food. Uh, it's like a meat for the grilling, sausages for the grilling. Uh, you now can again buy the coal for the grilling because it disappears for the winter time. And uh, it means, you know what? It means that because on the Easter, what the regions do? They like to go to cabins, hytte. Uh, they uh, like to take skis with them and go skiing. Huh. Huh. Easter, wow. Uh, Easter culture, Easter time is very different in Norway. I can already tell it's very different because there's just a lot of things Norwegians do that Americans can't really do. That I'm already, I can already tell, like, we can't go skiing. Norwegians like to go skiing at Easter time. Uh, we don't have cottages or cabins uh, or anything like that. Whereas Norwegians, I know there's a big cottage cabin culture in Norway where uh, many, many, many families have a cabin they can go to. So that makes sense that that's something you would do during Easter time. That honestly sounds really nice. That sounds really nice. I never, I kind of forgot because... We just don't have that in America. Like, you can go to your cottage or cabin uh, for holidays and have, like, a great holiday uh, sort of vacation there. That's really cool. That's, like, a really nice thing. Wow. That's really nice. And meanwhile, the poses in between skin, they like to eat a lot of sweets, mm. drink beer, have ah. a lot of barbecuing. <laughs> what? Easter in Norway has barbecue, beer, and candy. That is... <laughs> in America, Easter is like... It has a sort of a religious association, but even if it doesn't, it's really... Um, you, you don't get too wild and crazy on Easter. You don't drink beer. Uh, it's Easter is mostly for kids, uh, and there's Easter egg hunts, and... Uh, baskets for children, and uh, I don't know. All this makes it sound like Easter is honestly a bit better for adults in Norway. It sounds a bit better than in America. And reading books, watching, and actually not the regular books, it should be crime. So they read <laughs> crime, they watch crime on the national TV, huh? and they like also quizzes that are <laughs> huh? What? Crime? Like true crime? <laughs> that is so random. That is so random to me. In Norway, for Easter, you you watch crime and read about crime and you uh you have quizzes. <laughs> that is that is very interesting. That is why I like to watch these kinds of videos. I have never heard about that. Called Poske quiz. It's Easter quiz. I want to share... Oh, Easter quiz. That are called Poske quiz. It's okay. Easter quiz. Okay. I want to share with you some of the things that I have with me at home that I managed to buy uh, already. Okay. But for example, decoration for the house, oh. I only managed to buy this candle. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. This is so cool. It's like when you go pass by, you cannot just pass by. You, you need to have it at home. <laughs> okay, uh, just to be clear, it looks like the decorations in Norway for Easter are very similar. Like rabbits, bunnies, eggs, carrots. That does seem similar to America. So this one we have bought. Um, we also bought some of the uh, goodies, some of the candies that we haven't tried. 
and oh. I will show you a bit later what they are. Okay. Uh, we have some Korean food prepared because on the Easter time it will be five, five days, five days when everything will be closed. So you will not be able to buy food or something like that, or drinks, alcohol, and so on. So you need every everything. Everything is closed for five days. That just. That just, that kind of thing never happens in America. Like, it's a big deal when stuff is closed down for one day in America. Like, Easter Day or, or Christmas Eve. And even then, there's still, you can still go to grocery stores. Like, many, many stores are still open for the holiday. So, it is so shocking to hear that everything, even the stores close for five days there is nothing like that that happens in america wow you need to prepare yourself beforehand and in the end yeah yeah you you gotta be prepared you gotta make sure you can survive <laughs> i will tell you which ukrainian traditions do i bring in my celebration of uh, easter in norway because okay. especially this year in ukraine uh, Easter is one month later in Ukraine than in Norway ah. because it's on 2nd of May. I think it's 2nd of May, something like close to that date. And uh, here it's 4th of April. Imagine like... I actually did not know that she was Ukrainian, which is interesting. It's probably good because she moved from Ukraine to Norway. So she, all of the differences probably really stick out to her, just like for an American learning about Norway. So that's good. That's good for me, I think. One month difference and we will not get it as a free days at work here. So that's why yeah, typically I try to um, kind of having to get the Ukrainian traditions, uh, UK, Ukrainian cultural traditions about Easter in the Norwegian time of celebration. Mm. I will start a bit uh, on the review like showing you um, when we went to the stories and when we selecting <laughs> what do we want to have actually the one thing that i don't know how it looks inside uh, it is oh. egg. so it is um chocolate eggs that uh, have inside uh, some uh, milk cream uh, i have never tried it i have wow it comes in a little uh egg egg carton it actually comes in a little egg carton there's nothing like this in america this is actually this actually looks very fancy like if there's actually little eggs in the egg carton that's actually very cool very cool i have never seen it how it looks but i will open it in the end of the review Okay. So then also we have bought, we found, because we try to buy different things in different stores. Just, uh, it's also do not overeat sweets. Uh, but we also bought this kind of eggs. Okay. Yeah, I've never seen this brand before. But it does seem like Norway does Easter candy very similar to America. Except that some of this Easter candy actually looks a bit fancier. Like, a lot nicer, a lot higher quality. Uh, a lot of the Easter candy in America is kind of <laughs> uh, kind of bad for you, kind of basic, kind of boring, honestly. So I think this candy is a lot cooler, honestly, in Norway. Those eggs, uh, they're also chocolate eggs, but they are filled in with uh, some alcohol. And I think... It... Alcohol? The... The chocolate egg is filled with alcohol? It, did I hear that correctly? The egg is filled with alcohol. <laughs> At least it looks like whiskey or something like brandy, something like that. It's in German, so I cannot what? read it. But it was good cool to see it, and um, what? we decided to give it a try. What? what? I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> okay. Then, of course, of course, of course, um, to try uh, apelsin marzipan, it is sweet made of the mando, mandel, mandel, it is um. Marzipan, I have to look up marzipan, marzipan, I'm not sure what marzipan is, 
Marzipan is a confection consisting primarily of sugar, honey, almond meal. Huh, it's like a sugar candy marzipan. Okay. I've heard that word before. I just didn't know what it was. <laughs> Sorry, Norwegian. Mandel almond. almond. Wow, it's is it the same? Almost the same letters. Hmm. So it is uh, from the orange, uh, almonds, uh, sugar, and chocolate. This is oh. uh, da -da -da. nice. So this is like what we bought. Uh, there is also a huge eggs. As yeah. uh, since I bought it. Yeah. I keep seeing these gigantic eggs. Um, we don't really have eh, things quite like this in America, but. I wouldn't be shocked if I saw someone with something like this. I'd probably ask where they got it, but it's a giant egg filled with candy. That's kind of cool. I would just think you could probably order that from Amazon or something, but you don't really see this exact egg in American stores. Wasn't the kid here? Uh, as I understood, parents buy these huge eggs, then they fill them in or buy filled in with uh, some different types of uh, sweets, candies, chocolates, uh, and so on. Well, in America, we do buy little tiny eggs like this big and fill those with candy. And then you can like hide them all over the house or hide them in your lawn around the house. And then the kids try to run around and find them, like in an Easter egg hunt. So that's kind of fun, they're, but they're small eggs. It's not one giant egg. That's not very typical. Um, I sense to they give it on the Easter, but I don't have a kid. So actually this part of tradition, I would be happy if you share in the comments and explain to me it as well. But mm. it is kind of uh, in the United States, you hide eggs. Yeah. outside and you search yeah. for them. I yeah. understood it's something uh, kind of similar-ish. Okay, so maybe in Norway, there's a little bit of the hiding the Easter eggs too. Help me out, please, in the comments. And uh, But if you go to skin, then you need to have this your quick lunch. It's not an <laughs> Easter thing. This thing, this thing, this is like the Norwegian Kit Kat bar. I've, I've seen this in many videos. In many, many videos, this is very popular in Norway. It's just a general thing. If you go hiking, if you go um, uh, just somewhere, it doesn't matter. Quick lunch, it's always your snack. And this is... Huh. Yeah. I mean, th that's not even a an Easter candy, right? That's just... That's just like popular any time of year, I think. Like uh, the snack of all the times ever. Yeah. And it also a lot of discount on this one and a lot of chocolates. It's a huge discount everywhere on the sweets now. So it looks like to me Easter, it's almost that's why it's almost like a Christmas because you oh. have a lot of sweets around. <laughs> oh, like uh some of the candy is like at a discount, so it's a lot cheaper. You can get a bunch of quick lunches. <laughs> that's pretty cool. You know what? This video actually goes on pretty long. Like we're only halfway done. So I'm enjoying this a lot, and I think I'm going to stop right there for now. And uh, feel free to come back for part two, where we're going to watch the end of this video, where I can continue learning about Easter traditions in Norway. But I'm very much enjoying this so far. This is all brand new information to me. And uh, I don't know, as I was hoping... Easter in Norway is a bit different than in America in the best way possible. It's very interesting. So if you're enjoying this video, uh, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in part two of this, learning about Easter or more videos in general like this, me learning about Norway and Norwegian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.